time to think race recently and, and what I've been thinking about is so deep it's so profound I've been thinking meditating pursuing really my own personal truth you know really trying to define what it is what 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 is truth to me um, and yesterday I was napping on the couch and, and it came to me it just came. I'm a house plant. I I've given up wearing shoes, and uh, I now wear I now wear flower pots on my feet. I mean, on my roots. And I have some nice potting soil in there, and some peat moss to keep the moisture in. And I can just I can just feel myself absorbing nutrients from Mother Earth. This is me now. This is my genuine self. The tree. Welcome and thank you all for joining my live streaming today. Today, I wanted to be very open and very vulnerable with all of you, my followers. I feel it is time to speak my truth and to commit to my truth. Oh, not a stalker 333 says you are so brave. Thank you, not a stalker 333. Your solidarity gives me strength. And now it's time for my reveal. My truth is, everything belongs to me. All my life, people have tried to stop me from being genuine and committed to my truth. When I was just a baby, they would say, no, that's little Ricky's pacifier. But in my heart, I knew it was my pacifier. And later, no, those are Britney's dolls but I knew they were supposed to be my dolls. And then in high school, you can't steal the principal's car. And in college, that super expensive computer equipment doesn't belong to you. So much hate whenever I tried to be my genuine self. But now, thanks to all of you watching today, I can say honestly, they were wrong. It was mine. It was all mine. Wander Trailer Life says, wait, does that mean my stuff belongs to you? Hmm. Well, that depends, Wander Trailer Life. Is your stuff any good? I've been getting a lot of comments uh, from my last post. So I want to answer your questions and uh, to answer them. I am a rubber tree. I heard that Jeff. A rubber tree is a kind of tree and it's not made out of rubber. Oh, I, I, I'm not made out of rubber. I mean, I am a noble Fiscus Elastica. <sighs> and to answer the rest of your questions, I need bright, indirect sunlight and regular watering. 
That's why I am so much taller than the rest of my family. You heard me. I called you short. <laughs> so, if it's okay with you guys, I'm just going to sit here and photosynthesize for you, and you can all just ponder your own personal truths. Welcome back. So, since we last talked on my live stream, I have been fully committed to living my truth. And I've been collecting all the things that are mine. <laughs> I've met a few people who've disagreed with me and that's okay, that's their truth. But my car was faster, my truth won. <laughs> I have never been so fulfilled. And I want to encourage all of you to take that first step in finding your own truth. Oh, Sleepy Cat 565 has a question. She says, aren't you worried about getting arrested? Oh, no, Sleepy Cat 565, that's not a problem. They cannot arrest you for being your genuine self. We live in an enlightened society. Again, I'm not stealing. These things belong to me. This is a pursuit of truth. <laughs> uh, Yada Buddha writes, I didn't know you had a kid. Yeah, no, you, you wouldn't have seen her before. She's new. <laughs> Hashtag live your truth. What, Mom? Mom, I can't come down for supper. I'm a rubber tree now. I'm fed by sunlight and good earth. <sighs> Don't mock my truth, Jeff. Mom, Jeff's mocking my truth. My mom just said that if a rubber tree can't come down for supper, he can't complain about his brother messing with him. Nobody understands. I, except, except you guys, of course. You guys. You guys totally understand. You guys have been so supportive and, and you've been, it's been awesome of you. Okay, except for that one guy who posted about his Fox Terrier's personal truth. Not cool, not cool, man. We rubber trees don't appreciate that kind of humor. I mean, how would you feel if you let somebody let their pet do that to you? Ugh. It's that time again, my gummy bears. Welcome to my live stream. A lot of you have asked about that viral video that's going around this week of a woman who looks a lot like me using a toe chain to drag that big woolly mammoth out of the Natural History Museum. Well, how was I supposed to know it would fall apart as soon as we hit highway speeds? But it's okay, it doesn't count as property damage since it was mine anyway. But enough about me, let's talk about you guys. How many of you have been inspired by my bravery to go out there and live your truth? Uh, Sleepy Cat 565 is here again. Hi, Sleepy Cat 565. Sleepy Cat 565 says, you have inspired me. You have inspired me to buy a security system. Wade, what's that supposed to mean? Sleepy Cat 565, was that sarcasm? Excuse me, miss, you're under arrest. Officer? Who let you in? You have the right to remain silent. I, I didn't do anything wrong, and how did you find me anyways? You've been posting your crimes on social media. It's not a crime. I'm living my truth. And you parked my patrol car right outside. I'm pretty sure that that's my patrol car. Um, 
I'm getting kind of hungry. I didn't know trees got hungry. Maybe there's not enough indirect sunlight here. Hey, Jeff? Mom? Dad? C could somebody come move me closer to the window and maybe pour some water over my feet? I mean, over my, my roots, I mean roots. I'm getting thirsty. I, I, I guess nobody's home. I'm gonna go get a snack. All right, guys, so the truth is, if you go and like this video and leave a comment below, it really helps us out. And also, if you want to see more faith-filled content, you should also go down and subscribe. Uh, that should be it for now. Make sure to share it with friends, and we'll see you next time. Together, we are Fly By Light Media, and we rise to shine.